Together, Nelson and Tasman are growing fast, and we need more houses for people to live in, places for people to work and earn a living, and spaces for relaxation, exercise, and community events. If our combined population continues to grow at the speed it is now, then over the next 30 years there will be a need for an extra 24,000 homes, 48 hectares of commercial land, and 20 hectares of industrial land in places like Nelson, Stoke, Richmond, Brightwater, Wakefield, Mapua, and Motueka. Over the same time period, we will need an extra 5,100 new homes in the more rural towns of Tasman, such as Murchison, Tapawera, and in Golden Bay, where we are trying to meet the unique demands. We also need to find space for new businesses starting in our regions, for those that want to expand and for increased employment opportunities, and have come up with a proposal with a focus on growth mainly along the State Highway 6 corridor and intensification building up. Kia ora, I'm Jackie Deans from Tasman District Council. And I'm Chris Borson from Nelson City Council. And between us, we're responsible for preparing a future development strategy for the Nelson Tasman region. The future development strategy is going to influence all of our lives, where we're able to live and the type of housing that we, our children, our grandchildren can live in. Over the last couple of years, Tasman District Council and Nelson City Council have been working together to prepare a joint future development strategy. With high demand for more housing and business land in the region and the close proximity of our main urban areas, it was critical that a combined strategy was developed that recognised our single land market. This did make the project much more complicated as the governance structures of each of the councils didn't naturally mesh well together. Nevertheless, through a lot of hard work, greying hair and minor mental breakdowns, we managed it. Thankfully we had the Nelson Tasman Joint Committee which brought together all 25 councillors from all different parts of the region and that certainly sped up the decision making process for the future development strategy. Although it's quite a large number of councillors, we had a smaller subcommittee who oversaw the hearings and deliberations for the strategy and made recommendations back to the Joint Committee. I particularly want to acknowledge our staff team and it's a, it's been a really big task for you under quite a lot of time pressure with a breadth and depth of information that you've had to prepare for and us. I think we are very fortunate as councils to have a community that does engage um, in these processes because their voices are important and they have influenced the decisions that we've made today without doubt. I'm proud to live in the Nelson Tasman region. We feel that the communities are going to benefit from the future development strategy because not only will it plan for growth in the future, but it will also enable them to carry on enjoying the special qualities of the region.